Welcome back to the channel. Today is day 149 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're going to need until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. All right, let's take our first break. Not that we need it. Because <laughs> it is one, very cold, and two, I can't really make the, the set so long. They'll become too boring. <sighs> I need to save some energy for the rest of the workouts. I guess I could have done a couple more of those sets. And yes, I brought back the wristbands for my wrist. Not because I need it, just because I can. <laughs> I want to avoid putting too much stress on my rest right now. And it is really cold and we're expecting a lot of snow. Again. <laughs> uh, and as of right now, it looks like I'll be working in the morning. So, I need to go to bed early tonight. <clears throat> Because I need to wake up at least, at least one hour before the phone rings. I need to shovel my car out of the snow early in the day, early in the morning. I can't believe how cold it is outside. But anyway, here we are again. We'll have three more sets of this uh, push-up burpees and knee raises and then we'll go down to do leg raises and then the cocoons four sets each uh, we're gonna do as many reps up as we possibly can I don't know how many uh, leg raises I'm gonna be able to do but it seems like now that for some reason I'm doing less leg raises then at the beginning of the challenge it's probably because I'm only doing these exercises once every other week <laughs> not even once a week 
I'm like was every other week. So, not that a core is not that important. It's just a thing, how things are happening in life right now. Pretty sure at some point we'll be making changes to the routines anyway. Time is up. Here we go again. Let's take our second break. We are again encountering some technical difficulties here. <laughs> Microphone transmitter just came out of my waistband. Guess my pants are really loose. <laughs> All right, that concludes the second set. We have two more to go. And then we'll go and take it easy and do leg races on the floor. It will be another short video. <laughs> Even though this particular exercise made the video a little bit long. Because in the first set I did a lot of reps. Second set I did a little bit. I don't know how, I'm gonna, how many I'm gonna do in my third and my fourth, but I'm not really counting them though. I know at the beginning of the challenge, I was counting them. However, now we just, just passed that stage where everything was limited. I wasn't pushing myself too much. Let's get my body adjusted to the soreness and the exercises. At this point, we are all adjusted to it. Now we just have to push and push. All right. It is very important to be and stay hydrated. Just don't drink too much water. Right before the exercise, nor during the exercise. Because you don't want to have a lot of water in here. <laughs> While you're jumping and lifting your knees and your legs up. It's not very comfortable, let me tell you. All right, just a few more seconds to go. We're gonna go into our third set. Oh. All right. 
All right. Just a few more seconds. All right, time is up. Here we go. All right, let's take another break. Our third break of the day. Whew. Whew. My heart is feeling it. <laughs> Pretty sure if I would have been doing this in the summertime, I would have been complaining about other things, not the cold. Gosh. Ah. Let's see what this thing says. Yeah. Not even a cardio. <laughs> We have one more set of this push up and knee raises, vert piece. Ah, oh, I'm out of breath, I can't even say the name of it. Push up vert piece with knee raises. One more set of that. And then we'll do our leg raises and the cocoons. We'll see how we do with the leg races. As I said earlier, seems like my rep count on the leg races has <laughs> go down the hill since the beginning of the challenge. I used to do a decent amount of them, maybe 30 or so. Now I'm lucky if I do 20. Lucky if I do 20. <laughs> I 
but it's not too bad it's not too bad it's a good day it's a good exercise in general especially in your day off from the gym you can do this even at home well i'm doing i'm doing everything at home but i mean you don't need to be in a special place just a place where your body fits to do a push-up and somewhere where you can extend your arms up i know i'm not fully extending my arms up but at least uh, i get to that point <laughs> Woo. all right just a couple more seconds actually time is up now here we go with the last set All right. You got the hint, right? <laughs> Just push, push, push. No, I know I did not go to failure simply because it is extremely hard to go to failure in that exercise. <laughs> Like, how do you go to failure? <laughs> Where do you gauge it? When well, you can't stand anymore? <laughs> All right. Let's breathe some air and get ready for the leg races. Actually, I should leave you guys right there. I'm just gonna lower you so you guys can see the rest of the exercise. Here he goes, going down. Downtown. All right. Okay. Let's just lower just a tad. So we get a visual of what's going on here. Oh. Oh. And I don't think I'm gonna need this 
to do leg races and or cocoons. That was a good start. <laughs> Definitely a good warm up exercise. Just a few more seconds. Let's have this thing close by. I'll have to reset the camera after uh, after this first set. Have a sip. Stay hydrated is important. Time is almost up. Uh, I could take some vacation somewhere tropical. <laughs> However, I still don't have a beach body yet. So shut up and keep on going. Here we go. That was a good one. Woo. That was definitely a good one. All right. So let's just reset you guys. Uh, should I do it now or after this next one? Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, let's do it now. Whew. There we go. That way I don't have to mess with the uh, audio later. <clears throat> Whew. This thing keeps coming off. I was recommended to use a boom mic. Just put it right there. <laughs> the thing is that it'll be kind of difficult to to have a mic just there when I'm like talking in all directions in here. With this, it's always nearby and capture most of the audio, most of what I'm saying. All right, so we have still over a minute to go. Three more sets of these leg races. And then we go to the cocoons. All right, <laughs> air is coming back in. <laughs> Definitely feeling the core. For some reason, I still kind of maybe feel a little bit from last week. Not very much, but kind of a little bit of a hint in there. It could also be because of work <laughs> or the snow outside. I mean, shoveling snow. Well, at this point, shoveling ice. 
because that thing melted and and then it rained this ice stuff got frozen again it, it's been ugly out here and I'm complaining about the weather but there are people that are in worse conditions than I am people that got buried in the snow for days in places where it usually doesn't snow like Texas <laughs> Oof. all right time is almost up I'm gonna go again with the second set of leg races ready or not here we go Ugh. It burns. <sighs> that felt real good. I know I look like I'm in pain. <laughs> in technicality, I'm a little bit in pain. <laughs> but it's a good kind of pain. It's not like when my back hurts <laughs> or my knees or my elbows, you know, you get the idea. It's a good type of pain. It's soreness in the muscle. You feel it every time you, you're trying to talk, laugh, cough. It kind of hurts, but at the same time makes you smile. Cause you know it's it's working with your hard work it's it's paying off uh, the flag moving i thought i saw something <laughs> with the corner of my eye uh, all right time's still ticking i should be having another sip of water but i'm gonna leave it for later all right so that one was oh jeez, i forgot that's the second or that was that the third set? Uh, I think that was the third. I'm not sure now. Let's see. I can sort of figure it out through the camera. So it's three. Uh, I think that was the third. If not, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna do a fourth one today. It's my day off. And I don't know if you notice, but up there, <laughs> every time I'm on my break, <laughs> that guy is running on his bicycle. That is exactly what I did in the future. I mean, I haven't done it yet, but that's <laughs> what I'll be doing after this. I'm going to go hang out with the girls a little bit. Then I'm gonna go for a bike ride. Well, my fiance will go for a bike ride first, most likely. And then I'll go for my bike ride. 
thereafter uh, we'll check the weather conditions I need to put my windshield wipers up I check the weather conditions and see how it looks and if it's snowing I'll start shoveling snow and ice and get ready for tomorrow time is up I know here we go Oh. All right, let's take another break. Now, the more I think about it, I think that was the third, the third set there. I'm gonna go with another one just to be safe. Just in case, I don't know, math, and I can't count to, to three or four, which you already know I can't count that far. <laughs> but you have plenty of faith on me that I'm gonna make it to, four, for, to 300, 400, to 300 days. Whew. All right. We'll do one more set and then We'll do the four sets of cocoons and call it a day. <sighs> Definitely feel that exercise in the core for sure. Woo. And I'm still considering doing this exercise on the pull-up bar. Just hanging up there and do either knee raises or leg raises as far up as I can. Ah, uh, however, you know, I can't do that. <laughs> Not everyone can do that, okay? This is for beginners. I mean, for this beginner. But what I do, it's been working. It's been working. Which, by the way, since today's day 149, tomorrow will be halfway through the journey. And the day after tomorrow is when I'm gonna uh, have the day 151 picture update, which I guess I usually put it at the end of the video. <laughs> Guys, if you don't care about watching me watching me exercise, I don't even know what I'm saying. If you don't care about watching me exercising, you can skip and go all the way to the, to the end of the video. You can see the picture there, the comparison. I will have the three pictures. Uh, day one, <laughs> day 121, and day 151. Why those? Well, the first one, the previous one, and the most recent one. Actually, I should just put the first and the last. Thinking about it, that's um, all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do the first and the last. And I keep changing it, keep changing it in my mind. I'm just trying to figure out what looks better. Uh, definitely looks more drastic, more dramatic from the first to the last 
but I also want to see a comparison between last one and this one. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, an update of 30 days, 30 days update. Anyway, here we go, time is up. All right, taking another break. If you notice in that particular set, the first few reps, I was gone. <laughs> I was going, 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 and then all of a sudden I remember, oh, you're going too fast. So, hit the kill switch for a little bit, and then restarted at a slower pace. Remember that this particular exercise is mostly for strength. And also I'll take the opportunity to see if I can get thicker abs, if that makes any sense. You know, ab, the abdominal muscles are actual muscles. They are small, but if I can grow them just a little bit, every time I hit them, it will be better. Because by the time I get diced, <laughs> if that's the actual word, uh, by the time I get ripped, I want those abs to show. Definitely want them to show. I know I, in my actual goal, they don't show that much. It's kind of normal. I mean, normal if you spend a few years in the gym. But I don't have a few years. I only have 300 days <laughs> to make this happen. So, can't get that volume on the abs. At least I'm gonna get the tiny itty bitty abs that I have. I'm gonna get into show for sure. So, that's the goal. So, do them slow. Do these core exercises slower. Time under tension. Can't really do progressive overload. Not that I do much progressive overload with anything else, <laughs> but uh, seeing if I can get my abs worked. All right, just a few more seconds and then we're gonna go with the cocoons. Four sets and call it a day. Have a sip of this magical fluid. Well, let's get comfortable here. Because we're gonna be doing this cocoons. I know I still have this in my hand. I'm always in some sort of technical difficulties going on you have no idea <laughs> anyway time is up and here we go a break I know that was lame <sighs> I 
but I, had, I have a good excuse. For some reason, I'm feeling my lower back kind of bugging me. Ugh. This exercise used to not bug me in the lower back. But for some reason today, it is. And I don't know why. It might be my posture. I used actually I used to do them on the bench and it was way more comfortable for me but then I became fat and lazy and didn't want to bring the bench over here <laughs> to do the exercise so I'm doing them on the floor it was not bugging me until now now I don't know why but we're gonna give it another try actually we're gonna give it three more tries if 15 reps is all I can do, 15 reps is all I'm going to do, it's all I'm going to give it. As I said, today's my day off, I'm just going to give it my best as it is. However, if I feel actual pain, that's going to be it, <laughs> I'm going to call it a day for sure. All right, time is still ticking. Oh, I can definitely feel the core, feel my abs. Uh, let's see what's tomorrow, because most of exercises I do try to engage the core. Tomorrow is, is either tricep or chest, one of the two. Not 100% sure. But that's usually how it goes. Uh, that's it, seven days. Seven days, this, then seven days again. But on those seven days, the exercises are uh, alternated. Like the pairs are, are reversed. That makes any sense well i showed you the, the, the chart before what it looks like <laughs> so that's exactly what it is uh, so yeah i think it's either chest or tricep one of the two i'm not 100 percent sure but i guess you will find out tomorrow and time is up here we go Take another break. Second break of this exercise. Two more sets. That set right there felt good. No pain in the back. I guess it's just a tiny itty bitty uh, discomfort, but I do not think it has anything to do with my core exercises. In fact, it kind of feels a little bit like a muscle, like a back muscle pain. When was the last time I did back? Was that yesterday? <laughs> uh, sorry, I have fish memory. I don't remember. But let's see. When was, what was yesterday's exercise actually the question and nope yesterday was uh, shoulders it was three days ago when I did back I doubt that it's from that exercise or from that day even though that particular day was the day that I did the rows with dumbbells So, it could be, but I doubt it. I don't know. It doesn't bug me any other exercise. I'll keep an eye on it. 
but the good news is no pain that's the good news <sighs> all right still over a minute to go on our second break of this exercise we have two more sets and then we're out of here i'm gonna turn off the heater even though i would love to keep it on because this place is cold too cold if you ask me but i guess gotta work with what i have all right time still ticking oh. About, oh yeah, we have plenty of time on the camera. We should anyway. This is a long wait. Now this is one of the, I dread these exercises a little bit more than, <laughs> than leg day for some reason. Maybe that's why I have such poor core and not so pronounced abs which i don't have abs <laughs> anyway time is up and here we go another break <laughs> a third break of this exercise <sighs> so if this is the third break of this exercise that means that this is the last break of the day after this that's it well you probably saw the progress bar this is these are the last couple minutes of this video <laughs> doesn't take a rocket science rocket scientist to figure that out even I can figure that out Whew. all right I'm glad I'm almost done with this <laughs> it's one of those exercises that you feel it and you feel good about it because you know you work it you worked it out but at the same time it's not like you see any benefit to it it's not like it's, you can see the the abs popping out or anything because ab exercises do not give you abs also they do not burn fat in the abdominal area they don't no matter who says what um, how many people say it, they do not period it's simple your body stores fat most likely most people that your body starts storing fat in your abdominal area and then starts spreading throughout the body when you start burning fat starts burning from the last place where your body put the fat in and the last place the fat comes from is from the first place where it's stored it in most cases the abdominal area so if you want to see abs you have to burn fat from everywhere else and then in the abdominal area if you do core exercises you're getting a strong core however they will not give you abs i don't know how many how many times i can say or in how many ways i can say it but that's the bottom line there is no secret do this exercise seven minutes a day every day and you'll have sexy abs Nope. <laughs> nope. That doesn't work that way. <sighs> All right, just the last few seconds of this exercise. Let me take, let me take my last sip of water. <sighs> oh. 
Well, time is up and here we go. All right, that was it for today. Oh, let me bring this thing with me. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Adios.